YouTubers make money from entertaining their viewers, but what happens when dangerous people do not find their videos funny? From YouTuber Juan Luis Lagunas Rosales, who was brutally murdered for making fun of a cartel in his videos, to Ingrid Line, a vibrant woman whose dismembered body parts were found in dumpsters around Seattle. Here are some horrific stories of YouTubers who were brutally taken out by serial killers. Mariah Wilson I'm ready. Yeah, ready. I'm so excited to be here. Um, feels like the first big race in a year. Mariah Wilson was a YouTuber who loved to share her adventurous life with her followers. She was passionate about cycling and often posted videos of her rides, races and outdoor experiences. Mariah was not just an athlete, she was also known for her vibrant personality and dedication to her sport. Her channel reflected her love for life, nature and the thrill of competition. However, Mariah's life took a tragic turn when she was brutally murdered in 2022. Her death shocked her fans and the entire community. Mariah was found dead in her friend's home in Austin, Texas, with gunshot wounds. The initial investigation revealed that her murder was linked to a love triangle, and the suspect, Caitlin Armstrong, was accused of killing Mariah out of jealousy. But, as the detailed investigation unfolded, the brutal nature of Mariah's murder, being shot multiple times in a seemingly premeditated attack, raised questions among investigators. The level of violence and the methodical execution suggested that this might not be a simple crime of passion. While Armstrong fled the country and was eventually captured in Costa Rica, her actions during and after the crime led some to speculate that this murder could be part of a broader pattern, potentially linked to serial killings. Mariah's death was a heartbreaking end to the life of a young woman who had so much to offer. Her mother Karen said, This is like the 9-11 of our life. The next YouTuber who became a victim of serial killing is Ingrid Line. There's no words that can alleviate the pain that I've caused. Ingrid Line was a beloved mother of three, a nurse, and a YouTuber from Renton, Washington. She enjoyed sharing her life experiences and adventures on her YouTube channel, where she connected with her followers through her warm personality. Ingrid was a vibrant woman who balanced her career, raising her children, and her passion for sharing her life online. On April 8, 2016, Ingrid went on what seemed to be a regular date with Charlton, but she never returned home. Her friends and family grew, increasingly worried when they couldn't reach her. The following day, on April 9, the unthinkable happened. Parts of Ingrid's dismembered body were discovered in recycling bins in Seattle. The sheer brutality of the crime was staggering. Charlton had not only killed Ingrid, but had also dismembered her body in a gruesome and methodical manner, attempting to dispose of her remains in multiple locations around the city. This horrific act left her community in shock and sorrow, struggling to understand how something so terrible could happen to someone so cherished. The investigation uncovered Charlton's disturbing past, which included a history of violent behavior and criminal activity. Charlton told the police, I'm not a normal person, Ingrid's brutal murder, and Charlton's statement made authorities question if this was just a one-time act or if he could be a serial killer. The way he carefully dismembered and disposed of Ingrid's body made it seem like he had done something like this before. Although Charlton was charged and convicted for Ingrid's murder, her case remains a haunting example of how quickly a situation can turn down deadly. Our next YouTuber was a brilliant student who was murdered brutally. Tiana Notice a talented student with a promising future became the victim of a vicious knifing on Valentine's Day 2009. Tiana Notice was a vibrant young woman with a passion for life, often sharing her thoughts, experiences and daily activities on YouTube. While she wasn't a widely recognized YouTuber, her videos reflected her positive outlook, her dreams and her journey through life. Tiana was an ambitious and driven individual, pursuing her education while balancing her work and personal life. On February 14, 2009, Tiana's life was tragic cut short when she was brutally murdered by her ex-boyfriend, James Carter. Despite obtaining a restraining order against him and repeatedly reporting his harassment to the authorities, Tiana could not escape his obsessive and violent behavior. On that fateful Valentine's Day, Carter ambushed Tiana outside her apartment in Plainville, Connecticut, and stabbed her multiple times, leaving her to die. The murder was a devastating blow to her family and friends, who had seen her struggle with the fear and anxiety that Carter had caused in her life. The investigation into Tiana's murder initially Initially focused on Carter as the primary suspect due to the documented history of abuse and threats. James had previous convictions for assaults in 2002 and 2006, in addition to violating probation in 2008. Carter's obsessive and unrelenting behavior, combined with the brutal nature of the murder, raised questions about whether he had harmed others in the past or might do so in the future. Prison records indicate that he remains incarcerated at the McDougall Walker Correctional Institution in Suffield, Connecticut. 
James will be eligible for release in February 2069. The next one on our list is Missy Bevers. Missy Bevers was a fitness enthusiast and a beloved mother of three who shared her passion for healthy living on YouTube. Through her channel, she inspired many with her workout routines, motivational tips, and glimpses into her life as a fitness instructor. Missy was dedicated to her community, often organizing fitness classes at her local church in Midlothian, Texas. Her energy and commitment to helping others live healthier lives made her a respected and cherished figure in her community. On the morning of April 18, 2016, Missy arrived at Creekside Church of Christ to set up for an early morning fitness class she was scheduled to teach. As she entered the church, she was ambushed and murdered by an unknown assailant who was dressed in tactical gear, making them appear like a police officer. The brutal attack left Missy dead, and the chilling details of the crime shocked the local community and gained national attention. Surveillance footage from inside the church captured the suspect walking through the halls before the murder, but despite the clear video, the identity of the killer remains a mystery. The investigation into Missy Bever's murder has been extensive, with authorities exploring multiple leads and theories. The unusual circumstances and the level of premeditation suggested that the killer may have targeted Missy specifically, possibly as part of a larger pattern of violence. Despite these theories, the case remains unsolved, with no definitive answers as to who killed Missy or why. Sometimes YouTube videos made for entertainment can cost one's life. The next story is just like that. Juan Luis Lagunas Rosales Juan Luis Lagunas Rosales, better known as El Pirata de Culiacán, was a young Mexican social media star and YouTuber who gained fame for his wild antics, partying lifestyle, and bold, sometimes reckless behavior. Born in the small town of Villa Juarez, Sinaloa, Juan grew up in poverty and dropped out of school at a young age. Despite his difficult upbringing, he found a way to fame through social media, where he quickly amassed a large following by sharing videos of himself drinking heavily, partying, and making daring comments. His rise to fame was meteoric, but it came with its own set of dangers. In December 2017, at just 17 years old, Juan made a grave mistake that would cost him his life. In one of his videos, he drunkenly insulted Nemesio Oseguera Cervantes, also known as El Mencho, the notorious leader of the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, one of Mexico's most powerful and violent criminal organizations. Just weeks after the video was posted, Juan was gunned down in a bar in Jalisco, Mexico. He was shot more than 15 times by armed men who stormed the establishment. His murder sent shockwaves through Mexico and the social media community. The cartel is infamous for being involved in drug trafficking and serial killing. Investigators considered that the cartel was systematically eliminating anyone who publicly insulted or opposed them. Our next YouTuber was a talented singer whose murder was really very tragic. Christina Grimmie Christina Grimmy was a talented singer and YouTuber who captivated millions with her powerful voice and warm personality. Born on March 12, 1994, in Malton, New Jersey, Christina began posting covers of popular songs on YouTube at the age of 15. Her incredible talent quickly caught the attention of viewers, and she gained a large following. Christina's breakthrough came when she competed on the sixth season of The Voice in 2014, where she finished in third place. Her performances on the show impressed both the judges and the audience, and she went on to sign with a record label and release her own music. On June 10, 2016, Christina was tragically murdered after a concert in Orlando, Florida. While she was signing autographs and meeting fans, a man named Kevin James Loibel approached her and opened fire. Christina was shot multiple times and later died from her injuries. Loibel, who had developed an unhealthy obsession with Christina, took his own life immediately after the attack. The sudden and senseless loss of Christina shocked her fans and the music community, and her death sparked conversations about the safety of public figures and the dangers of stalking. Investigators looked into details to find whether Christina's murder was part of a larger pattern of killings, possibly indicating that Loibel could have been a serial killer. Christina Grimmie's murder was a huge wake-up call for a lot of YouTubers, according to the site's unofficial historian, Anthony D'Angelo. Another YouTuber who was brutally killed is Bianca Devins. Bianca Devins was a young social media influencer from Utica, New York, who gained a following on platforms like Instagram and YouTube by sharing her thoughts, artwork, and life experiences. Born on October 2, 2001, Bianca was a creative and vibrant individual who connected with her audience through her candid posts and interactions online. She was known for her love of art and her openness about mental health struggles, which resonated with many of her followers. Tragically, Bianca's life was cut short on July 14, 2019, when she was brutally 
brutally murdered by Brandon Clark, a man she had met online and with whom she had formed a casual relationship. After attending a concert together, an argument ensued, leading Clark to violently attack and kill Bianca. In a horrifying twist, Clark posted images of the murder on social media, causing widespread shock and outrage. The gruesome nature of the crime and the public sharing of the crime scene photos added to the tragedy, deeply affecting Bianca's family and the online community. After killing Bianca, Clark played a song on repeat called Test Drive by Joji. He spray-painted May You Never Forget Me on the ground and posted a disturbing image to Devin's Discord. The message he left was, sorry fuckers, you're gonna have to find somebody else to orbit. The next one on our list is Karina Vetrano. These are the last haunting images of Karina Vetrano, taken just minutes before she was murdered on a remote jogging trail. Karina Vetrano was a lively and adventurous young woman who shared her life on YouTube, posting videos that captured her love for fitness, travel, and the outdoors. On August 2, 2016, Karina went for a run near her home in Howard Beach, Queens, New York, something she did often to stay active. Tragically, she never returned from that run. Her body was found later that evening, brutally attacked and strangled in a marsh area along the running path. The murder of Karina Vetrano shocked the community and led to a massive investigation. At first, the brutality of the crime led investigators to consider the possibility that it must be the work of a serial killer. The randomness and viciousness of the attack, along with the lack of immediate leads, made it a challenging case to solve. Police officials announced a $2,500 reward for information leading up to the arrest of her killer. However, through determined police work and DNA evidence, Chanel Lewis, a young man from a nearby neighborhood was eventually arrested and charged with her murder. Lewis also had several run-ins with police in the years before the murder, including three summons in 2013, two for violating rules in Spring Creek Park and one for urinating in public. All this was an indication of his abnormal behavior. Lewis's family continued to deny his involvement in the homicide. His father claimed he had not heard of or read about Vetrano's death until after his son was arrested for it. Our list continues to Valentina Trespalacios Valentina Trespalacios was a vibrant and popular YouTuber known for her love of music and nightlife. She often shared her experiences and adventures on her channel, where she built a loyal following who admired her lively personality and passion for life. Valentina was also a rising star in the DJ scene in Colombia, where she mixed her love for music with her engaging online presence. Tragically, her life was cut short in January 2023, when she was found murdered in a suitcase in Bogota, Colombia. Her body was discovered in a dumpster. The investigation into Valentina's murder was intense and complicated. Due to the brutal nature of the crime and the method of disposing of her body, authorities initially feared that her death must be the work of a serial killer. The case gained significant media attention, with many speculating that it could be part of a larger pattern of killings. Later on, it was revealed that her American boyfriend, John Poulos, was the main suspect. The mysterious circumstances surrounding her death sent shockwaves through her community and the country. Let's move to another YouTuber, Murdered Mercilessly. Pamela Mastropietro Pamela Mastropietro was a young woman with a troubled past but a strong will to turn her life around. Though not a well-known YouTuber, she had a presence online where she shared snippets of her life and struggles. Pamela had recently entered a rehab facility in Italy to overcome her issues with addiction. However, just days before her tragic death in January 2018, she left the facility, determined to find her way on her own. Unfortunately, her life took a horrific turn when she encountered a dangerous individual. Pamela's body was discovered in two suitcases on the outskirts of Macarata, Italy. The brutality of the crime shocked the nation, and the investigation quickly turned towards a man named Innocent Osegal, a Nigerian immigrant. Osegali was arrested and charged with her murder after evidence, including surveillance footage and DNA, linked him to the crime. The gruesome nature of the crime led investigators to initially consider the possibility of a serial killer, given the calculated and horrific manner in which her body was dismembered and disposed of. Pamela's tragic death became a symbol of the vulnerabilities faced by young women and the dark consequences of falling into dangerous situations. The next one on our list is Kevin Frett. Kevin Frett was a Puerto Rican YouTuber and emerging reggaeton artist known for his vibrant music and advocacy for LGBTQ plus rights. Frett gained a following for his bold personality and unique musical style, using his platform to challenge stereotypes and promote acceptance. His videos often featured his music and his outspoken views on various social issues, making him a prominent figure in the Latin music scene. The artist regularly addressed fans through his Facebook page 
page and was outspoken on issues affecting the LGBT community. His last video, Soy Asi, had more than 700,000 views on YouTube. Tragically, Kevin Frett's life abruptly ended on January 10, 2019. He was shot and killed in San Juan, Puerto Rico, while riding his motorcycle. The attack was both shocking and brutal, with Frett being targeted in a premeditated assault that left many wondering about the motive behind the violence. The brutal nature of the murder led to this belief that he had been the victim of a serial killer. Frett's death was part of a wave of violence affecting the island of an estimated 3.3 million people, with 24 murders so far that year. Another horrible story of a YouTuber killed by a serial killer is Maribel Ramos. Maribel Ramos was a popular YouTuber and social media personality known for her engaging content on topics ranging from lifestyle and fashion to personal experiences. She used her online platform to connect with a broad audience and share her interests and adventures, building a following with her charismatic and relatable approach. Her vibrant presence on social media made her a beloved figure in the online community, and her content was marked by its authenticity and personal touch. On April 27, 2013, Maribel Ramos died. She was found murdered in her apartment in Los Angeles, California, with her death initially sending shockwaves through her fan base and the wider community. Ramos's remains were too decomposed to determine her cause of death. The crime scene revealed signs of brutal violence, leading investigators to suspect that her murder could be linked to a series of similar attacks. The nature of the violence raised concerns that a serial killer might be involved, as it bore resemblance to other unsolved cases in in the area. However, the police eventually uncovered an eerie piece of evidence. A frantic phone call Ramos made to 911 only 12 days before her disappearance. In the call, Ramos claimed to feel unsafe around her roommate, saying, I'm just calling to let you guys know that if something happens that I did it because I was trying to defend myself. Her roommate was found as a suspect. In July 2014, a court found Casey Joy guilty of Maribel Ramos's murder. He was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison. If you want to go full weird, the next entry will have you covered. Maria del Rosario Fuentes Rubio Maria del Rosario Fuentes Rubio was a courageous social media journalist who used YouTube and other platforms to expose the violence and corruption of drug cartels in the Mexican state of Tamaulipas. She was a key figure in the influential citizen news site Valor Por Tamaulipas. Her work, which included posting photos of cartel members and updates on crimes, had gained a substantial following, with over 5 10,000 Facebook fans and 100,000 Twitter followers. Despite the severe risks, Maria remained committed to shining a light on the criminal activities that plagued her community. In early October, Maria began receiving threats on Twitter, but she continued her brave work until October 16th, when her account was overtaken by the cartel. The cartel identified her, tracked her down, and used her account to send a chilling message. They posted a tweet revealing her real identity and announcing her murder. The first tweet read, Friends and family, my real name is Maria del Rosario Fuentes Rubio. I'm a doctor, and today my life has come to an end. They then posted two photos, the first of a woman looking in the camera. The second, that same woman, died on the floor with a bullet wound to the head. Another tweet warned others not to make the same mistakes. Shut down your accounts. Do not risk your family's lives as I have done. I ask for your forgiveness. The brutal nature of Maria's murder shocked the public and highlighted the extreme dangers faced by journalists and activists in Mexico. Her death was a stark reminder of the risks involved in reporting on cartel violence. Reporters Without Borders condemned the murder and called for a thorough investigation to bring those responsible to justice. Another YouTuber from this terrifying list is Kelsey Smith. Kelsey Smith was a young woman who was known for her vibrant personality and active presence on social media, including platforms like YouTube. She was full of life and loved sharing her experiences with her followers, often documenting her adventures and everyday moments. However, her life took a tragic turn on June 2nd, 2007, when she was brutally murdered after being abducted from a Target parking lot in Overland Park, Kansas. Kelsey had just graduated from high school and was preparing to start college when she was attacked. The day she went missing, surveillance footage showed her being followed by a man as she left the store. Her family quickly reported her missing, and an intense search began. Tragically, her body was found four days later in a wooded area in Missouri. She had been sexually assaulted and strangled. The man responsible for her murder, Edwin Roy Hall, was later arrested and convicted of the crime. Kelsey's tragic death led to the passage of the Kelsey Smith Act, which mandates quicker access to cell phone location data in emergency situations, a lasting legacy in her memory. The next tragic murder story is about a YouTuber named Lisa Marie. 
Lisa Marie was a young and passionate YouTuber who shared her life, thoughts, and adventures with her followers. Known for her warm personality and engaging content, she quickly built a community of viewers who admired her authenticity. Lisa enjoyed exploring new places, trying out new activities, and connecting with her audience through vlogs and personal stories. One evening, Lisa Marie disappeared after attending a local event. Her family and friends grew increasingly worried when they couldn't reach her and reported her missing. After a few days of searching, Lisa's body was discovered in a remote area, showing signs of a violent attack. The nature of the crime, its brutality and apparent lack of motive, led investigators to consider the possibility that her murder could be the work of a serial killer. They explored connections to other unsolved cases in the area, looking for patterns or evidence that might link Lisa's death to a broader series of crimes. Her memory lives on through her YouTube channel, where her videos continue to inspire and connect people, serving as a reminder of the vibrant life she led. The next one on our list is Ekaterina Karaglanova. Ekaterina Karaglanova was a popular Russian YouTuber and Instagram influencer known for her beauty, travel content, and glamorous lifestyle. Born in Moscow, she pursued a medical degree while documenting her travels and fashion on social media, quickly gaining a large following. Ekaterina was admired for her stylish posts and engaging personality, which made her an inspiration to many young women. However, her life came to a tragic end in July 2019 when she was brutally murdered in her Moscow apartment, shocking her fans and the online community. Ekaterina Karina's body was discovered in a suitcase in her apartment by her parents, who had grown concerned after being unable to reach her for several days. The investigation revealed that she had been stabbed multiple times. The suspect, later identified as a former boyfriend of Ekaterina, was arrested and confessed to the murder. He claimed that jealousy and a recent breakup had driven him to commit the horrific act. In her final post on Instagram, which featured a picture captured on the Greek island of Corfu, she wrote that she liked to travel often, but in each country I spend no more more than three to five days. Let us now tell you about another YouTuber killed horribly. Alexis Sharkey. Alexis Sharkey was a well-known YouTuber and social media influencer who captivated her audience with beauty tips, wellness advice, and lifestyle content. Born in Pennsylvania, Alexis moved to Houston, Texas after getting married, where she continued to build her online presence. Her engaging personality and stunning visuals quickly gained her a loyal following. However, her life was tragically cut short in November 2020 when she was found dead under suspicious circumstances. Alexis was reported missing by her friends and family after she failed to show up for a planned event. Just a day later, her body was discovered on the side of a road in Houston. The nature of her death was immediately suspicious, as there were no visible injuries and her body had been left in a secluded area. The lack of initial clues led some to speculate that her murder could be the work of a serial killer, especially given the eerie circumstances of how she was found. The unanswered questions surrounding her death continue to haunt those who followed her journey and admired her work. Another vibrant YouTuber whose life ended tragically is... Desiree Gibbon. Desiree Gibbon was a vibrant young woman with dreams of making it big in the entertainment industry. Born in New York, she pursued various creative endeavors, including modeling and acting, and had a growing presence on YouTube, where she shared her life, travels, and ambitions with her audience. Desiree was known for her adventurous spirit, which took her to different parts of the world as she sought new opportunities and experiences. In November 2017, Desiree traveled to Jamaica, where her family had ties, and where she hoped to explore job opportunities in the film industry. However, her trip ended in tragedy. Desiree was found brutally murdered on the side of a road in the small town of Anchovy, Jamaica. Her throat had been slashed, and her body was left in a manner that shocked both locals and those who knew her. The violent nature of her death led to suspicions that this might have been the work of a serial killer, as the crime was exceptionally brutal and seemingly without motive. Now, almost seven years later, not a single person has been identified as a potential suspect. The Gibbon family is desperate for answers. Who killed Desiree, and why? While Desiree case remained unsolved, the next one on our list is Ashley Ellerin. Ashley Ellerin was a vibrant young woman with dreams of achieving success in the fashion industry. She was born in Los Altos, California and moved to Los Angeles to study fashion design. Ashley was known for her outgoing personality and was well liked by those who knew her. She had a promising future ahead and was making her way in the fashion world while also gaining attention for her beauty and social connections. Although she wasn't a YouTuber, her life was one of ambition and aspiration in a city full of possibilities. Tragically, Ashley's life was cut short on February 
February 21, 2001, when she was brutally murdered in her own home in Hollywood. She was stabbed 47 times, a crime so violent that it shocked even the most seasoned investigators. At the time of her murder, Ashley was supposed to go on a date with actor Ashton Kutcher, who later testified in court that he had gone to her house that evening but left when she didn't answer the door, not realizing the horror that had taken place inside. The investigation revealed that her murder was part of a series of killings by a man later dubbed the Hollywood Ripper. The investigation into Ashley's murder eventually led to the arrest of Michael Gargiulo, a serial killer who was linked to several other murders and attacks in the Los Angeles area. Gargiulo was found guilty in 2019, more than a decade after Ashley's murder, after a lengthy trial that exposed his gruesome pattern of violence. The last one on our list of YouTubers who were brutally killed by serial killer is Esmeralda Gonzalez. Esmeralda Gonzalez was a young woman in her 20s, known for her striking beauty and active presence on social media. While she wasn't a YouTuber, she had a growing following on Instagram, where she shared her life, fashion, and fitness journey. Esmeralda was born and raised in Las Vegas, Nevada, where she enjoyed the vibrant city life. She was a model and had aspirations of becoming more involved in the entertainment industry, using her social media platforms to build a brand and connect with her followers. In May 2019, Esmeralda went missing, and her disappearance quickly gained attention due to her online presence and the strange circumstances surrounding it. Her family and friends were deeply concerned, and a search was launched to find her. Unfortunately, the search ended in tragedy when her body was discovered months later in October 2019. She had been murdered in a horrific manner, her body found encased in concrete in a desert area outside of Las Vegas. The brutality of her death shocked everyone who had followed her story. The investigation into Esmeralda's murder revealed disturbing details. Christopher Prestepino, a Las Vegas resident, was arrested and charged with her murder. It was discovered that Esmeralda had been held captive, tortured, and eventually killed in Prestepino's home. The motive behind the crime remains unclear, but investigators believed that Prestepino may have been involved in drug-related activities and Esmeralda had been lured to his home under false pretenses. Which one of these YouTubers' tragic deaths haunted you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, and click the card on screen for more spine-chilling stories. Stay safe and see you in the next video.